Hello, I'm Carol Vorderman and welcome to Perfect 10. 10 questions, 10 points, all done in 10 minutes. I'm here to help you dust off your January blues and get your brain match fit for 2023. This is the place to give your mind a full workout with riddles, puzzles and brain teasers that will educate, entertain and irritate you as well. So make sure you subscribe, you follow and you like to get the next episode as soon as it drops every day. I'm here Monday to Friday, so why not find a spare 10 minutes to mentally sharpen up with me? Now, at the end of yesterday's show, I left you with a Hollywood anagram, but which famous Hollywood actor's name is an anagram of Big Melons? Stop sniggering in the back, thank you. The answer I was looking for was Mel Gibson. No points for that. There are 10 points, however, available every day. So how well will you do today? Will you hit that perfect 10 score? Let's begin. We call round one your starter for a perfect 10. And this is it. Which kind of timepiece has the most moving parts? Now, you might be thinking of the famous Prague astronomical clock, but you need to think much smaller. That's my clue. Remember, you can pause and rewind this show and you can think for as long as you like. That doesn't matter. I will wait for you. I'll give you all of the 10 answers after I've given you the final question at the end of the podcast. Question two is at the ready, as this is our hearsay round. You're about to hear some sounds which relate to a well-known phrase or saying. For example, if you hear <laughs> and then you'd get the phrase Pigs might fly. You got it? So, what phrase is hidden in these sounds? Rover! <laughs> Rover, no. no! Rover! Rover, that's an oak! Say what you hear. It's hearsay. Rover! <laughs> Rover, no. no! Rover! Rover, that's an oak! That's an oak! So, what well known phrase or saying was that? As always, answers at the end. We call round three. Carol lateral thinking, as a bit of logic comes in handy. As you know, I love my numbers, but will you love this number-based question? Here it is. A 300-foot-long train that is travelling 300 feet per minute must travel through a 300-foot-long tunnel. How long will it take the train to travel through the tunnel? Now, you can pause, you can grab a piece of paper and a pen if that helps. No problem with that. Question four, how's your head? Buzzy or fuzzy? Our next round requires some concentration as it's our memory game. So listen up, listen good. And remember, because there will be questions after, let's hear the clip. Yes, thanks. Can we get one full English breakfast, please, with no mushrooms? Mm -hmm. Also a veggie breakfast, also with no mushrooms. Then two sides of hash browns as well. He'll have the double sausage, egg and mushroom bap. And to drink, we can have two orange juices, an apple juice and three teas, please. Mm -hmm. That's it. Great, thanks. Well, I don't know about you, but that's made me very hungry indeed. Right, were you paying attention? I hope so, because here is your question. How many sides of hash browns were ordered in total? A simple question. Cast your minds back. As always with these questions, everything you need to know was in the clip. Moving on to question five, but is your score better than yesterday's at this point? Our next three questions are all about F words, but I'm talking here about frivolous, familiar and fun, where I test you on everyday knowledge. How much have you been paying attention to the world on your doorstep? Let's find out. Which famous chef recently pronounced a kitchen appliance micro -wave? It's not Jamie Oliver, even though he has some unique ways of saying things sometimes. It's definitely not Gordon Ramsay, as there's no swearing involved. You need to go a little bit more upmarket. Now, if you want to turn the tables and send me a puzzle, question or riddle, I'd love to hear what tricksy teasers you have up your sleeve. So please do get in touch, and I mean that. Question six, and since we're on the subject of cooking, how about another famous gourmet? Famous for all the wrong reasons. Here's the question. Which wine was Hannibal Lecter's particular favourite in Silence of the Lambs? I can clarify that he enjoyed this particular wine with some fava beans and a slice of liver that had a dubious provenance. 
Now to one of Britain's most famous TV double acts, Ant and Deck, and it's question seven. Here it is. When looking at Ant and Deck on a TV screen, which one always stands on the right? Is it Ant or is it Deck? Well, let's be fair, you've got a 50-50 chance. Millions of us have loved them over the years, but have you paid attention to how and where they stand? We're moving on to question eight, and this is called One In, One Out, where I can ask you to either remove or swap a letter to make a new word. So here we go. Which letter can you remove from the word chart, C-H-A-R-T, to make another word meaning conversation? Don't forget, you can pause the show and take as long as you like. And if you want a hint, uh, I'm not going to give you on to that, sorry. (laughs) Question nine, we call, I know I know this, since the answer should swim into view if you apply a little common sense, a little logic. So here's question nine. Which British prime minister was the first world leader to appear on his own YouTube channel? So you have to think back to when YouTube first got really big. Then go along the list of UK prime ministers, which has become quite a long list really of late, hasn't it? Hmm. Let's move on to question 10. Is that perfect 10 score in touching distance today for you? Well, let's see. One last question to go, and it's our daily riddle. Here it is. I have a ring, but no finger. I used to stay at home, but now I'm with you wherever you go. What am I? Hmm. Those were my perfect 10 questions for today. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's questions. And if you want to entertain, educate and irritate me, please send me what you've got to at Carol Borders on Instagram and TikTok and follow at Perfect 10 Carol across socials and on YouTube. 10 questions, 10 points all done in 10 minutes, 10 tough questions. But did you get a perfect 10 score? This is where you find out because here come the answers. Question one was, what kind of timepiece has the most moving parts? Well, if you thought laterally, it is an hourglass. There are around 250,000 grains of sand in a three minute hourglass. And that's more moving parts than any other timepiece by a long mile. Question two was our hearsay round. And you heard this. Rover! (laughs) Rover, no! No, Rover! Say what you hear. And so that was barking up the wrong tree. Well done if you got that right. Question three was slightly more complicated. A 300-foot-long train is travelling 300 feet per minute through a 300-foot-long tunnel. How long will it take the train to travel through the tunnel? And the answer is not one minute, it's actually two minutes. It has to enter and it has to leave in full. Question four was, how many sides of hash browns were ordered? This was the memory game. If you were listening, you know the answer was two. Two sides of hash browns were ordered. If you don't believe me, go back and have another listen. We move into our frivolous, familiar and fun round. And question five was, which famous chef recently pronounced a kitchen appliance micro wave? And the answer was Nigella Lawson, who explained the bizarre pronunciation was actually a long-running family joke that made it into one of her shows. Question six, which wine was Hannibal Lecter's particular favourite in Silence of the Lambs? And the answer was a nice Chianti. Did you know Sean Connery was originally considered for the role of Lecter, but turned it down as he found the script, and I quote, revolting. Question seven is about the nation's favourites, Ant and Deck. So, when you're looking at them on a TV screen, which one is always standing on the right of the screen? Is it Ant or is it Deck? And the clue is in the way their names are listed. It's always Ant and Deck, never Deck and Ant. Ant always stands on the left and Deck always stands on the right of the screen. Moving on to question eight. One in one out. The question was, which letter can you remove from the word chart to make a conversation? Well, if you take away the letter R, you have yourself a nice little chat, C-H-A-T. Question nine, which British prime minister was the first world leader to appear on his own YouTube channel? 
The answer was Tony Blair in 2007. His first words were, hello, and thank you very much for visiting the Labour Party's YouTube channel. So question 10 was our daily riddle. I have a ring but no finger. I used to stay at home, but now I'm with you wherever you go. What am I? The answer is, I am a mobile phone. Of course, a mobile phone has a ring, but no finger. And phones used to be attached to walls. Do you remember that? Sitting on the telephone table. But now they're attached to us 24-7. So how did you do? Did you score a perfect 10? If not really, don't worry. Your brains are getting trained and you might crack it tomorrow. Keep on trying. Remember to make sure to subscribe to the podcast and the video cast if you prefer it that way on YouTube and follow us on YouTube and across our social media channels so you don't miss out on any of our rounds. Monday to Friday, a different perfect 10 every day of the week. Let's start 2023 as we mean to go on sharp. And before I say goodbye, I'll leave you with today's anagram. No points will be scored. Here's the clue. Which female singer-songwriter is hidden in the words shut beak? S-H-U-T-B-E-A-K. So, who are you, shut beak? We'll find out tomorrow with a whole new day of questions, poses, and puzzles. I'm Carol Vorderman, and that was my perfect 10. 10 questions, 10 points, all done in 10 minutes. And I wish you a perfect day. Hold up. 